Hi, Scentsy friends. It's Angie coming to you from my Scentsy office. Um, first of all, I wanted to take a moment to thank everybody who commented on my Why I Wax video. Um, you know, it's really easy for me to get on here and talk to you about what scents are my favorites or what things I prefer, but it's way harder to be um, open and vulnerable and talk about things that are a little bit more personal. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who commented on my video. Um, you know, my, my story is probably a little different and, um, and you know, it means a lot when people are understanding and, you know, and it makes you feel closer to your audience when they, when they really get you and really understand who you are as a person, not just what your favorite wax scents are. So, um, I just want to say thanks and, um, yeah, so anyway, I have hauls, and um, these hauls are my monthly Scentsy Club and a just a regular order. Basically, um, this regular order, I don't know if you guys know um, or have been, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know Jacinda. Um, she comes on and does cameos in some of my videos sometimes and smells through stuff. She doesn't like bakery. Um, she is a One Hope wine distributor, and she sells wine, and it benefits my nonprofit, Sarah's Acts of Kindness. And um, she came over one day, and we were looking through the stuff that was on clearance. Um, I had to buy a licensed warmer for a friend of mine who is going through a big, big battle, and so, um, which I will show you in just a minute. But um, yeah, so I was purchasing a Scentsy warmer that was licensed, that was not eligible for rewards, and then I was like, well, let's just do a whole, like, not eligible for rewards order. So I've got some clearance items and a special warmer. But first, I want to go through my monthly Scentsy Club. So Scentsy Club, if you order $30, you get 10% off. If you order $60, you get a half-price item. Um, for my half-price item, I always get the Whiff Box in the monthly club. That way I get a Whiff Box every single month. The Whiff Box I'm going to show you is April's, so um, you only have today. <laughs> Tomorrow it will switch to a new Whiff Box, um, and it will be May's Whiff Box, and I have no idea what's in there because it's a surprise. Um, in my monthly Scentsy Club, I did add the two Mother's Day scents because I haven't tried them yet, and so I'm very excited to sniff those, and then I think in my May Scentsy Club, you'll see the Father's Day scents because I just can't keep up with placing individual orders for all of that stuff. So hopefully you guys understand. It's been busy, um, really, really busy, so I just, you know, have been doing what I can. Okay, here is my monthly club. First of all, I've got the two Mother's Day bars. So they're, they are Blue Coconut Beach and Wildflower Cotton. I don't have the scent notes. I mean, the scents, this one tells me that there's some probably some coconut, maybe some salty sea air in there, but... Okay, so to me, this smells like if coconut palm and mahalo coconut had a baby. I'm curious if anybody else smelled that. Let me know if you also thought that blue coconut beach smelled like coconut palm and mahalo coconut kind of like mixed together. It's literally what it smells like to me. Okay, wildflower cotton. It's way more masculine than I was expecting. I was definitely expecting it to be um, like a floral laundry, and it's not. In my monthly club, I get a 25 watt light bulb. I do not have any spare light bulbs at this time, even though I get one every single month because I've been using them every single month, so there. Okay, so these are the scent bars that I have in my club. One of the best benefits of club is always get my bars, so all of these bars are not, well, maybe some of them are currently available, but they're all limited time offers, not currently available, bring back my bars, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, Mandarin Moon. Mandarin Moon is like orange, star anise, Maybe some cinnamon and ginger, right? It's a spicy orange scent. It came out a long time ago. It came back in a, thinking of bring back my bar, which I immediately added to my club. This scent came out when my um, first batch of children were little. So I had three kids in my first marriage, Sarah, Julie, and Ava. Sarah would be 23 this year. Julie is 20. Ava is about to turn 18. When they were little, this scent came out and I loved it. And I had a lot of it for some reason. And I warmed it a lot. 
And um, so it brings back memories of when they were small and they are quite big now, quite grown up. Um, this is from Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival. I will be at Epcot in six days. So I am super excited. This is the mint field scent. It smells similar to herbal mint. It's not, it's not as great as the mint note in um, pineapple mint but it's still really good. I still get like that herbal, like like the stems of the mint plant and stuff too, So, which is what I want. I want that herbal. I'm a gardener. I like garden smells. This is great. Like not garden smells like dirt and compost and like manure and stuff, but like fresh herbs or a lavender patch or, you know, something of that nature. This is soft plumeria. This is a great floral. It's a heady kind of, um, not, it's not powdery, but it is perfumey, floral, love, vanilla waves, so thankful this is in my club, <laughs> this is the strongest, best vanilla scent, it is. and it's got something different, it's got that salt, it's got that caramel, it's so good, I love vanilla waves, tiara and coconut, this is in the Island Days collection. This is my favorite from the Island Days collection. Again, it's like a floral that's not powdery. It's got that honeysuckle-y kind of tiare note, but it's not powdery and it's super, super delightful. Give me candy. This was September scent of the month and it is super sweet. It is butterscotch and caramel and mm, deliciousness. It's so good. Um, I don't find myself warming it a lot during these warmer months, but in that fall, it's going to be all gimme candy all the time. Another one that I'm not really reaching for that often is Rum Raisin Cookie. I really love it though. It's so good. It's got that like nutmeggy cinnamon. It kind of smells like an oatmeal cookie to be honest. And I don't get a lot of raisin, which is good because I don't really like raisin. Dumbo. This is Rowan's signature scent. Um, when she was coming, she was my first baby after a big loss. Um, and I was really, really excited. And then COVID hit. She was born June of 2020. And so in preparation for her, I packed her diaper bag and I put a scent pack of Dumbo in there. And now like when we got to the hospital and when she was born, everything that came out of that diaper bag smelled like Dumbo. And so it just reminds me of like those precious newborn days um, after a big loss. So it was a year and a half after Sarah died that Rowan was born. So it was a pretty big deal. And um, she really came in and brought a lot of joy to my family. So I love that. Breakfast in bed. I'm getting quite the collection of this. So I definitely am not feeling like warming this when it's warm outside. This one is like a... Um, a pumpkin pastry with raspberry filling and like a sweet cinnamon cream cheese drizzle. Sounds delicious, but I just have not found myself reaching for that as much as I need to since I'm getting one a bar a month. It's a lot. Vanilla cream. Okay, so this is a more simple vanilla than vanilla waves. It's a sweeter vanilla than vanilla waves, but is not as strong as vanilla waves. It, it does last forever though, and it keeps on trucking, smelling like vanilla. This one is Mango Margarita. It's from the Sinspirations collection for Gogo -Go Mango. And this one is like Gogo -Go Mango plus sparkling citrus and salted, and like salt or something. And it's so good. I really like this one. I thought that Mango Shortcake was going to be my favorite, but this one ended up being my favorite. Pinkberry Fluff. I actually replaced sugar and pink haze in my Scentsy Club with pink berry fluff. If they come back and bring back my bar, I might stick one in my quarterly club if they start if my supplies start going down, but otherwise I think that I'm just gonna have to be happy with what I have because seriously I end up with so much wax. Okay, so the next bar, the last bar in my club has a little story. And I've told this story before. This is Mulberry Bush. It is not my favorite. But yet I get a bar every single month. And I don't warm it very often because it kind of, it brings a feeling to me. So I want to explain to you why Mulberry Bush gives me a sentimental feeling. So Mulberry Bush is Sarah's favorite. And of course Sarah's no longer with us. 
And so um, I get a bar every month because how could you not, right? Like it's her favorite. And so warming it is hard for me because her room often smelled like mulberry bush because she warmed it all the time. And after she died, I realized that she had been going to um, these hyperbaric oxygen treatments and she was getting rides from different people. And one of the people that would give her rides had a family member who was a Sensi consultant who, you know, everybody loved Sarah. Sarah was like a joy and a delight. So everybody would like take her out and do stuff with her and she loved it and she was always like looking for a chance to get out and go places and do stuff. So she would go and visit this person's relative who was a Sensi consultant. So after Sarah passed away, we were going through her things. And I knew Sarah loved Sensi because I love Sensi and I was, you know, buying Sensi from my friend Lisa, but Sarah was getting it out of this lady's Sensi closet. And I knew that Mulberry Bush was her favorite scent, but one of the things I found in Sarah's stuff was this old school Sensi tester. So if you guys have not seen a current Sensi tester, let me pull one of those out. Not in mulberry bush, but in a different scent. This is Be Merry. So this is what they used to look like, and this is what they look like now. So Sarah had gotten somebody to give her the old school tester of mulberry bush, which I thought was very interesting. Okay. And then she had also gotten different consultants to send her their bars of mulberry bush. So there's three bars. Mulberry bush. I'm covering the other consultant's info because, you know, not that, not that I think that anybody would say something to her, be mean to her because she sent a kid with cancer a bar of wax, but you know, just that her stuff isn't out there without her consent. Um, and then this old school container of mulberry bush. Like, I don't even know what the par date on this is anymore. I don't even know if it smells. It's got two cubes missing. It kind of does still smell. I can't see a pour date. I can never see a port date. I actually can't even read them. But old, old. A little bit of a broken clam. The clamshell is stained. Like the wax is like crusty and hard and crunchy. But there it sits. That's where that's where my stash of Sarah's mulberry bush lives. So that's the mulberry bush story and I do on occasion warm it and it's always weird for me. Okay. So I told you about Sensi Club that I get 10% off because my order is over $30, but because my order is over $60, I also receive a half price item and I, in my monthly club, I always get the whip box. Again, this whip box is good through the end of today. So if you want this particular one, you have to order now. Okay. So it usually comes with a little card at the top. It used to be like a whole brochure and, um, and now they've downgraded to a card. I think this is perfect. It has a pretty colorful picture. It's got a little thing on the back that kind of gives you an idea about what's in your um, box. Okay, your April whiff box is inspired by things that make everyone smile. Springtime and sunshine. Inside you'll find a variety of products carefully selected to bring cheerful fragrances into your home. As the days begin to warm, delight in the arrival of spring. I'm a gardener. I love spring, but spring's a busy time for me. I am out in the yard all the time. Now, this weekend it's just been rainy. That's why my hair is super frizzy, but it's crazy crazy busy right now. Super excited. <coughs> excited about this one. This is a fragrance flower in pineapple mango. I cannot wait to put this in my bathroom. That is where those go. We've got a Scentsy Fresh in black raspberry vanilla. I'm very excited. I have not used this scent in any of the clean products thus far, so I'm very excited to try it out. We have a scent cup in Aloha Orchid. This is a pretty large wax sample. And um, this is May's scent of the month. So if you order a whiff box, you can sometimes get a sneak peek of the next month's scent of the month. And that's a pretty solid sample. Like you could warm this like in your bathroom and get a pretty solid idea as to how that scent is going to perform. There's also a sample of hand soap and coconut daiquiri. 
and then three wax bars. So I've got a bar of Sunkiss Citrus, which is also one of the Epcot bars. Sparkling Yellow, which is in the catalog, but it was originally from the Chase Rainbows collection. And Soak and Rays, which is my least favorite scent from the new collection. Don't love it. Okay, so I think Sparkling Yellow, I don't know why I like that. Yeah, Sparkling Yellow definitely is a, a fave. Okay, cool. I like it. So the whiff box is $35. I get it as a half price item in my um, Scentsy Club. So that means I get it for $17.50. A fragrance flower is $16. These three bars are typically uh, $17 if you bundle and save, $18 if you don't. So you can see that you, you're getting your money's worth plus this sample, plus this sample. I want to say these are $10. $10 or $12. I'm not even sure how much a Scentsy, Scentsy Fresh is. But you definitely get your money's worth out of that whiff box, especially if you make it a half price item in your Scentsy Club. So think about Scentsy Club. Scentsy Club is amazing. Okay, so on to my really cool uh, clearance item haul. I am going to have to go back and see which of these things belong to me and which belong to Jacinda because uh, I don't know off the top of my head. But there are two Carbar clips. Now this this like um, product is no longer in the catalog. They're not going to be making new cardboard clips for a catalog. So that's why these are in clearance, but these are in weathered leather. Really great car scent. Same with the Scentsy Silk. They're killing me with the Scentsy Silk. So I got two. I got a hibiscus pineapple and a jeweled pomegranate. I'm super sad about Scentsy Soak, y'all. Super sad. There's just a lot going on, huh? Sorry about my paper. Um, I got a Scent Soft in Magnolia Linen. They no longer have Scent Soft anymore either. Um, that is Scentsy's version of Fabric Softener. Okay. So, Jacinda and I each got a buddy clip in um, the Lana, the Llama scented in pineapple pucker. So I will take mine out and show you what my llama looks like. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Looks like. Mm. There's a new one that is a turtle. I have to have it. Sarah's special animal is a turtle, but this guy was too cute that I couldn't resist and he was on clearance. So here we go. So one for me, one for Jacinda. Another thing that they're no longer putting in there anymore is the dish soap um, in catalogs. This is Daydream Oasis dish soap. We have a Freshen Up Pup Doggy Deodorizing Spray in Sweet Pea and Shea. And a Body Cream in Watermelon Tangerine. So that is my special order, but the main reason that I got this order is for her. So my good friend, Laura, is fighting breast cancer. Um, she is Wonder Woman. She is amazing. One of the first times that she and I hung out was um, I invited her to a Halloween party because her daughter Kimba and my daughter Ava, who are both seniors in high school now, were in second grade and they were like best friends. And so I was like, well, I'm inviting her to the Halloween party. So this is super cute. There's like the little Wonder Woman logo on the top of that. Um, so I invited her. And Laura came dressed as Wonder Woman. Laura is stunning. She's tall and beautiful. This is the dish, you guys. This Wonder Woman dish. So beautiful. And so she comes in, and literally everybody is like, who is this gorgeous, beautiful woman? And yeah, it's Laura. So I'm not going to like all the way unwrap it. I'm just going to like take her out and show her off a little. So... This is the, the body of the warmer. It's like a sleeve that sits down on top of a base. And then the dish 
light bulb underneath. But there's Wonder Woman. And there's this. It's so beautiful, you guys. And I'm so excited. She's coming over tonight for dinner, so I'm going to give it to her. I'm going to package it up. Um, yeah. So anyhow, that is my haul. I'm super excited about um, my lovely gifty warmer and my lovely uh, items. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. It's a rainy, rainy weekend here. Um, we had a very busy Saturday, and so we could not. We were supposed to have a busy Sunday, too, and we just couldn't do it. So we kind of uh, ditched our, our original Sunday plans for not doing all of that, uh, all of the things. Uh, as you guys may know, I run a nonprofit, and yesterday there was an event for the nonprofit of music. It's at a local music and arts festival, so we had like a table set up there. But um, my wife is officiating a wedding in uh, in June, and we had a bridal shower, and it was at the same time. So we went to the bridal shower, but we set up the event um so we had to drive all of the stuff over the canopy the table all the things um we set everything up we went to the bridal shower and then we came back to the event we um called off a raffle winner on facebook live um and then packed everything up so um run 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 and we have two, you know two small children so they stayed with my mom and um so yeah so we just it was pandemonium and then, um, yeah, so today we were supposed to go to a winery two hours away. I won a free tasting and tour, and I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't do four hours of driving and a winery tour. So anyway, um, instead I am unpacking and boxing up and getting things ready and trying to get ready for another work week. I, um, I work Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday I'm off with the baby because that's my day and then Thursday I am flying to Florida for a Scentsy retreat that I'm super excited about. Um, it should be really fun. One of my best friends from uh, high school is Kristen and she's going to be there and so I'm super excited about that. And then um, actually a friend of mine from YouTube is going to be there and I was literally so excited when I saw that she was coming um so Jackie if you're watching this hi I can't wait to meet you on Thursday um yeah so anyway I'm super stoked maybe I'll see some other people from from Sensi YouTube that I don't know are coming maybe I'll see you there I'm so excited um so anyway I hope everyone is having a great weekend I will talk to you soon um I will have an empties very very soon because my empties bin is overflowing and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.